I'm Andrew, I come from Europe. <laughs> but I like it in England, it's all right. It's all right, mate. Fuck it, I'm all right. <laughs> all right, mate. I'm all right, yeah, fuck, I see the kids at the weekends. <laughs> That's what I heard in Starbucks today. Uh, <laughs> he sees them at the weekends. Is that a good impression? Yeah, some of you are like, no, it's not good enough, is it? A bit, a bit over the top, isn't it? Yeah. Well, now you know how Irish people feel when you fucking do ours, right? So. <laughs> Uh, lo lots of differences between Ireland and the UK. Another one is uh, how, how uh, you guys watch a thing called Mrs. Brown's Boys. Uh, uh, mixed, mixed reaction there. <laughs> uh, it's very pop. I know it's popular here and it's popular in Ireland as well. The only difference is that in this country it's a comedy, while in Ireland it's a very serious psychological drama. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Genuine language barrier, like. When I moved over here, I tried to order breakfast. The second I get scrambled eggs and bacon, could you make the bacon crispy? And I'll have a coffee. 20 minutes later, the waiter returned. Put down the eggs, he put down the bacon, he put down the coffee. He said, your crispy potatoes are on the way. <laughs> I was like, sorry, I didn't order any potatoes. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I don't even see potatoes on the menu. I do apologise, sir. I'm not quite sure what happened. I said I have a fair idea. <laughs> Pretty sure you heard my accent a couple of minutes ago. You have not been able to get to our potatoes out of your head. I was offended, mate. I was like, can I pay you with a pot of gold? Is that all right? Uh, so somewhere I can hang my balaclava. <laughs> I was genuinely offended for the first time in my life, being an Irishman, being stereotyped, you know what I mean? But at the same time, the waiter was lovely. He's like, I do apologise, sir. I'm not quite sure what happened. Would you like me to cancel the potatoes? <laughs> no. Uh, bring them over. But I'm not paying for them, all right? And that's how we get them back, lads. Two or three potatoes at a time. Uh, Nearly got married two years ago in England. Nearly married an English girl. Can you believe that? Jeez, what a wonderful thing that would have been. And I nearly married an English girl. It didn't work out, do you know what I mean? Like, different situation, lovely girl, different situation. She had two children from previous uh, nights out. <laughs> well, we feel very differently about Brexit in Ireland, or about the European Union in general. Um, uh, I know you guys aren't that into it. Uh, we love the European Union in Ireland. We're mad into it. Uh, <laughs> they have an 88% approval rating in Ireland. It's actually too high. Uh, they asked us to tone it down. Yeah, they said, seriously, will you have a little bit of self-respect, Ireland? <laughs> we feel smothered by all the attention. We're like, of course, of course, of course, but have you thought about what you'd like for Christmas? Um, <laughs> have an awful lot of trains. It's terrifying. One time I got in the wrong train in Ireland. Do you know how embarrassing that is? There's three trains. They're all different colours. I trusted a man in Dublin station to put me on a train to Cork. One and a half hours later, I'm in a depot station in the middle of nowhere. Looking around, there's nobody on the train, you know? There's people working on the outside of the train. And then Irish railmen came on the train and they walked up behind me and they said, what the fuck are you doing? And I said, I'm going to Cork. They said, this train doesn't go anywhere near Cork. And I said, I was told by a man in Dublin station that this is the Cork train. And one of the men from Irish Rail turned to the other fellow and said, that's fucking Steve, right? <laughs> that's exactly how Ireland is, right? They knew exactly who it was that sent me to the wrong train station. Because he obviously sends people here every fucking day. And then one of them said, probably the strangest thing that's ever been said to me. He said, for a minute there, I thought you were Chinese from behind. Look at that, look. <laughs> Have a look there. I had no idea, but you know what? I, I don't know I had to do with anything either. Then a girl stood up. She was about four seats up. She took out her he headphones and they're like, oh, where are you going? She said, I'm, I'm going to Cork. And they're like, oh, get Steve on the phone. There's two on this train. So then they say to her, they're like, was it a stupid looking guy in Dublin station in a high visibility jacket that told you this was the Cork train? And she said, no. And then she pointed at me. It was him. 